So roll patterns are the foundation of bluegrass banjo playing, which makes them super important to know. And the good news is they're not super hard to get started with. And if you don't know what a roll is, it's basically just the sequence in which you pick the strings like this. And a good thing about these rolls is that one, after you memorize it, you just memorize small chunks of it. And each of the little chunks, there's some pattern to it that's really easy to remember. So that it's not like they're super hard to memorize like it's some crazy pattern. Most of them, they go together in a way that makes sense, which makes them pretty easy to remember. And another good thing about rolls is because there aren't that many of them, you just use the ones that you learn and you make different variations of them that are technically the same thing but just on different strings to make them sound different but you don't have to memorize that much to get a bunch of different sounds out of your banjo. So in this video I'm going to show you three of the most important ones that are very beginner friendly, the forward reverse roll, the alternating thumb roll, and the forward roll. All three of these are used in just about any bluegrass song there is so they're super important to know so let's go ahead and get into this. And before we get started I just wanted to mention that if you like this sort of content please consider hitting the like button and maybe subscribing to my channel. That helps me out a ton and I would really appreciate it so thank you. Okay, so the first roll that I'm going to show you is called the forward reverse roll. It's basically made up of two parts, so I'll teach you each of those parts separately. And then after you have those down, putting them together will be really easy since you already know both parts. Okay, so we're going to learn this sequence, and this is also called a forward roll. You'll do the third string with your thumb, second string with your index finger, first string with your middle finger, and then just repeat. That's one type of roll all on its own without even adding it to the next one. So just keep practicing at that speed. And after you get it down to where you can do it pretty smoothly, you can increase your speed a little bit. And one thing to remember is don't increase the speed until you have it completely smooth because if you increase the speed when it's not smooth, that'll just build a bad habit, so just make sure that it's smooth. Okay, just practice that as much as you can, and your goal is to get it to where it's about like this. And the second part to this is what is also referred to as a backward roll. It's just the roll you just did, but in reverse. So it's middle finger on the first string, then index finger on the second string, then thumb on the third. Okay, so do that one slowly and smoothly. And then as you get a little bit smoother, you can gradually increase the speed. And remember, don't increase it till it's completely smooth. Okay, and then your goal is to get it to about like this. Okay, and now I'll show you the full roll, which is putting both of these together. And by the way, the forward roll and the backward roll are both their own roll as well, but it's just often used on different strings. So, play the first roll, then play the fifth string as a fill with your thumb, then do your backward roll, and then do the first string as a fill. You see how that works together? Those are both the rolls that you just learned put together. So forward roll, then fifth, then backward roll, then first. So just work on doing that one smoothly and slowly. And since you already have those other two rolls memorized, all you have to do is add the fill notes and you've got that full roll plus those other two, so you've technically got three rolls at this point. The next one is called the alternating thumb roll. It sounds like this. And that one is your thumb on the third, then second, fifth, first, and let's do it again. Third, second, fifth, first, third, second, fifth, first. And again, just do this as slowly as you need to to keep it smooth and gradually increase your speed over time. Last one is one that you already learned. I'm just going to show you another way to do it. Is the forward roll. It sounds like this. It's 
So that's the same forward roll that you just learned. You're just doing it on different strings and adding those two notes in the beginning. So add the third first, and then do the same sequence of fingers that you did on the other one, except do it on the fifth, the third, and the first. So it's five, three, one. Try that again. And then that's another thing. You can do that with any roll. The roll is basically the sequence of fingers you use, not the strings. So the alternating thumb roll. A lot of times you'll do it like this, like I showed you. And a lot of times you'll do it like three, two, three, one. Also like three, two, four. So, you've got the sequences of your fingers down, try doing it on different strings because you'll do that a lot when you're playing. Nearly everything in bluegrass banjo is just different rolls with different sequences of fingers, and there aren't that many rolls like I said in the introduction. You'll use these rolls and use different variations of them to play. Even the forward reverse roll, you can do it like this. Sometimes it's played like this, starting on the fourth. So those are the different things you can do to make variations on them, so just work on as many variations as you can. I technically said that I was teaching you three rolls in this, the forward reverse roll, the alternating thumb roll, and the forward roll, but I actually taught you more than that because in the beginning I taught you one variation of the forward roll, then in the, the last roll I taught you was the forward roll, it was the same thing, just different strings. Then you also learned the backward roll, which is used. So yeah, this is basically how banjo works, you use these different rolls to play just about everything that is played. So just practice these as much as you can. This beginning stage of not knowing the rolls, just getting used to them, it takes a little bit to get used to them, but with some patience and a lot of practice, you will get them completely down in no time. You won't even have to think about them anymore. So the goal is just practice them as much as you can.